Hello everyone, welcome to Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services. There's a video on daily news and editorial analysis, which I'll be covering from two important newspapers, the first being the Hindu and the other is the Indian Express. The most important news and editorial of the day that is relevant for both prelims and mains examination will be discussed in this session. Let's get started with news topic list. Today is 28th of June. The first news is West SETI power plant, or you can say power project and India's Nepal ties. So this is from the explained page of the Indian Express. Second, India's interest at WTO ministerial conference. This is from the text and context page of the Hindu. The other news is India, Bangladesh stand on river management. Fourth, India give emergency visas for Afghan Hindus and Sikh. And the last is an editorial. The EPI may rankle, but India can recast policies. So these are some of the important news and editorials of the day. Apart from this, at the end of this video, there will be MCQ based questions. These questions will be based on current affairs that will help you for the upcoming prelims examination. So without any further delay, let's get started. And if you're new to our channel, do not forget to subscribe Apti Plus Academy for Civil Services on YouTube. If you like this video, if you find this video informative and helpful, do not forget to press a like button. So the first news of the day, that is West SETI power project and India's Nepal ties. Something important for general studies paper to India and its neighborhood relations. So the government of India has recently decided to take over the ambitious hydropower project that is called West SETI hydropower project, which is located in Nepal. And the decision come after the China finally withdrew the six year engagement that they had with Nepal, right? So the time duration upon which this agreement was made for 2012 to 2018. Now China ne withdraw kar liya se. Now India is looking forward with this ambitious hydro project power plant which would be again helping both the countries. Now the project earlier was being developed by the China Three George corporations and it was a collaborations between China's Three George corporations and Nepal electricity authority. Now the Chinese companies has a stake in this basically jo power plant the hydropower project 75% stakes thi unki, and rest 25% was there with the Nepal electricity authority. It was a total 750 megawatt hydropower project an ambitious project for a country like Nepal. Now the project is planned on the West Seti river basin in the city Nepal. So this question is again important because this is a landmark deal that is between India and Nepal and even an opportunity for India to, you know, to fill all the vacuum that has taken place in the recent time. Now more about this. So you can see this image a map. Basically, this is here. It is located, right? So what is important for your examination? The West City Dam. Hai. This is the image of the dam. You can see how this project looks like. So for you, the map work is very important. Even the Karnali River, the Kathmandu, even the Nalital locations in the Uttarakhand region. Apart from all this, the map work could become significant for your problems examination. Now, India's stand on the project. So India's National Hydropower Corporation, that is NHPC, has already begun the preliminary engagement on this site, that is the West Seti River. And this is Nepal following India's Prime Minister visit to Lumpani recently. Now, the Prime Minister ne recently Nepal me visit kya tha. And during this course of time, the government of India has finally decided that they would have a joint collaboration for the development of this project. Now, China backfiring on this. So, the CW Investment Corporation, that is a subsidiary of China, Three George Corporation, has informed the Nepal government in August 2018 that it would not be executing the 750 megawatt of the SETI hydropower project. And what was the reason cited by China? China ne ka that this is financially unfeasible and resettlement that rehabilitation cost were too high. This is the reason argument that China has given and they have withdrawn from this agreement right, or from this project development. At this juncture, after a gap of six years, this is a very important project, right? For Nepal, they were looking forward for the completion, but at the end, China has finally refused to complete this project. Now, India has to play a major role in completing this project. 
नेपाल हाइड्रो पावर प्रोजेक्ट की पोटेंशियल की अगर बात करें ऑल दो नेपाल इज़ अ कंट्री विच हैज़ अ ह्यूज हाइड्रो पावर पोटेंशियल सो नेपाल हैज़ अ रिच पावर सोर्स विच इज़ अराउंड सिक्स थाउजेंड रिवर एंड एन एस्टिमेटेड पोटेंशियल ऑफ एटी थ्री थाउजेंड मेगा वोट एंड इंडिया वॉज प्रीवियसली ऑल्सो वोकल अबाउट द एग्रीमेंट बट बिकॉज ऑफ सम रीजन और सो द कंसेंस वॉज नॉट मेड एंड इंडिया हैज़ फॉर्मली अप्रोच नेपाल ऑन मेनी ओकेजन सीकिंग द preferential rights on nepal water so that it can offer something best for both the countries now india has view this feasible market for nepal but there has been some uncertainty in nepal over india's inability to deliver the project on time right so kuch aise reluctancy rahi hai nepal ki taraf se unko aisa lagta tha ki jo unke projects hai wo time pe complete nahi honge they rely upon china but the fact is that after a gap of 6 year china withdrew from this project and they denied that they won't be completing this project right so uh, in way forward you can conclude a trusted neighbor and a partner like india would be always something you know, a country that would be of a prime importance in terms of executing any plan or project right theek hai psychologically pichle kuch aise projects rahi thi jahan pe completion nahi hui but again we have to trust and we have to ensure that both the countries are working rigorously so that to implement the projects नाउ इनकम्प्लीट प्रोजेक्ट्स मैंने आपको बताया कुछ ऐसे प्रोजेक्ट्स हैं जो कंप्लीट नहीं हुए हैं सो इंडिया हैज अंडरटेकन टू हार्नेस और एक्सप्रेड इंटेंट टू हार्नेस मेजर रिवर इन नॉर्थ कुछ इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोजेक्ट्स की अगर बात करें महाकाली ट्रिटी वो साइंड वे बैक इन 1996 एंड प्रोड्यूस 6,480 मेगावाट बट इंडिया स्टिल डज नॉट एबल टू कम अप विद द डेड लाइन ऑफ दिस प्रोजेक्ट राइट जो डी की अगर बात करें डिटेल प्रोजेक्ट रिपोर्ट For any construction or any work that is for the infrastructure related work, उस प्रोजेक्ट के लिए डी पी आर क्रिएट की जाती है राइट तो डी पी आर जब फाइनल होती है उसके बाद फाइनल एग्जीक्यूशन होती है नॉ द अपर करनाली प्रोजेक्ट विच इज़ अ मल्टी लेग मल्टी नेशनल जे एम आर साइन कॉन्ट्रैक्ट हैज नॉट मेड हैवी वे फॉर द ईयर सो दीज आर सम ऑफ द एविडेंशियल फैक्ट द रीजन बींग नेपाल हैज नॉट कम टू अ ट्रस्ट टू ऑन गोइंग विद द प्रोजेक्ट बट फाइनली after the consensus was made now india would be looking forward for the completion of this projects now as one reason smec to wind up the failure and enter into the power purchase agreement with india to ye kuch incompetency rahi hai incomplete projects rahe hain jinko complete nahi kiya gaya sake but the rest the city power project would be something that would be completed on time now arun 3 project this has helped both to build faith recently india success in executing 900 megawatt of arun 3 project that is on the eastern nepal sankhua sabha which is being executed by india satlej vidyut nigam limited under the boot scheme right and whose foundation was laid in 2018 and it is set for completion for 2023 so this is a major achievement for both the countries Now the estimated cost of this project is around six thousand five hundred crore rupees, and it is envisaged that Nepal will have thirty one point nine percent of electricity from the Arun three projects. Now Nepal ki constitutions me kuch chijo ki zaruri permissions chahiye hoti hai before they come into any agreement. So the Nepal constitution has provisions under which any treaty or agreement. within another country or natural resources will require a parliament ratifications by 2/3 of their majority right so after which only a project can be finally executed 2/3 ki majority wahan pe chahiye hoti now power shortfall in nepal ki agar baat kare nepal has a massive power shortfall and it generate only 900 megawatt against the installed capacity of 2000 megawatt or nepal ke paas jo potential hai wo kam se kam 85000 ke aas pass megawatt productions ki hai but again they are not getting such partners to develop it although currently nepal is selling 364 megawatt power to india and it has over year imported from india also right so these are some of the uh, basically power shortages that we have seen in due course of time Now the other news, India's interest at the WTO ministerial conference, a very important topic for your prelims as well as for the mains examination. Make sure a question can be definitely framed from this topic. This is important for general studies paper two in mains. 
that is bilateral regional grouping and agreement evolving India's and affecting India's interest. So recently, the member countries of the World Trade Organization has finally ended with the ministerial conference. This was the 12th conference which was held right at Geneva and Kazakhstan was a co-host. So these two are the important facts that you must know for the UPSC and other competitive examination. Now, Geneva package ke naam se jana gaya, is mein jitni bhi agreements hui hai. So if it is being asked to highlight the you know, outcomes of the Geneva package, Basically, जिस जगह पे वेन्यू होती है उसके जो भी आउटकम होते हैं उसे उसी कंट्रीज के नाम पे पैकेज का नाम दिया जाता है सो फॉर दिस टाइम इट वॉज हेल्ड इन जेनीवा सो दिस वुड बी कॉल्ड एज जेनीवा पैकेज एंड द कॉन्फ्रेंस हैज सिक्योर द एग्रीमेंट ऑन रिलेक्सेसिंग द पेटेंट रेगुलेशन टू अचीव द ग्लोबल वैक्सीन इक्विटी इंडिया हैज बिन वोकल अबाउट द पेटेंट रेगुलेशन टू प्रोड्यूस मोर वैक्सीन एंड इवन टू हेल्प अदर कंट्रीज एज वेल राइट खास करके वैसे कंट्रीज जहाँ पे वैक्सीन की प्रोडक्शन नहीं है Ensuring food security, according to the subsidies to the fishery sector, continued moratorium, and even to e-commerce and other sector. I will give you some more detail about the fishery sector also in the later part of this video. Now, कुछ ऐसे negotiations जो नहीं हो पाई इस बार के package में, or you can say इस बार के conference में, ministerial meeting में, was that permissible public stock holding threshold for the domestic food security. The consensus was not met. and even the domestic supplies to agriculture cotton and market excess on this the consensus was not made now about the wto ministerial conference meeting something very factually important for your prelims examination so ministerial conference is also known as mc is a very top wto conferential or you can say organizational chart aur ye har 2 saal pe meeting ऑर्गेनाइज की जाती है एंड द डिसीजन आर टेकन ऑल द मैटर्स दैट इज हेल्पिंग फॉर द मल्टीलैटरल ट्रेड फॉर द मेंबर कंट्रीज अनलाइक ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जो दूसरे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन है जैसे आईएमएफ की बात करें डब्ल्यू टी वहाँ पर एक डेजिनेटेड डायरेक्टर्स और यू कैन से डेजिनेटेड पावर और बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्टर्स बनाई जाती है ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल चीफ बनाई जाती है बट डब्ल्यू में इस तरह की चीज़ें नहीं है ऑल डिसीजन दैट आर मेड आर मेड ऑन द कंसेंसिस ऑल मेम्बर कंट्रीज गिव द वैलिड votes and accordingly the resolution is being passed to yahan pe sab countries ki jo representation hai unanimous hoti hai kisi bhi tarah se puri consensus mila kar ke sare countries ke sath collaborative efforts pe ye kaam kiya jata hai this year the conference took place in geneva in switzerland now debates around the agriculture in the ministerial conference to is baar ke ministerial conference mein bahut sare subjects pe baat hui usme agriculture was an important one so referring to the status india has said that it has never imposed a restriction on the procurement for uh, like jo bhi humanitarian basis pe world food programs hai unko lekar ke india ne kabhi bhi restrictions nahi lagayi hai this is what india stand was and negotiation i read that the member countries would not impose export prohibitions or restriction on the food stuff that is for the humanitarian purpose under the वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम्स इंडिया ने ऑलरेडी वीट पे कुछ कर्ब्स की थी दैट इज टू इंश्योर कि हमारी जो डोमेस्टिक सिक्योरिटी है जो इंटरनल जरूरत है वो बनी हो बट वेन इट कम्स टू वर्ल्ड फूड प्रोग्राम इंडिया से वी हैव नेवर इम्पोज एनी रिस्ट्रिक्शन राइट सो दिस इज अ पॉइंट टू बी नोटेड न द सेंट्रल प्रमाइस ऑफ द एग्रीमेंट वॉज टू इंश्योर एवेबिलिटी एसेसिबिलिटी अफोर्डेबिलिटी सो दैट स्पेशली द ह्यूमेटेरियन एंड इन इमरजेंसीज दैट इज अराइजिंग आउट ऑफ द वर्ल्ड शुड बी मेट एट द अर्लीस्ट राइट so this has been india's commitment and india has been vocal about this as well now fisheries related jo agreement hai ya sectors ki baat kare india ne successfully managed kiya to carve out the agreement eliminating the subsidies jahan pe illegal unreported or unregulated fishery sector mein subsidies ko khatam karne ki baat ki gayi overfishing leads to the exploitation of the fishes at the pace that could replenish themselves and even standing that 34% as per the UN Food Agriculture Organization, right? Now, declining fish stock threatened the worsened poverty, जो poverty को भी खतरा है, and even it endangered communities relies on aquatic creatures for their livelihood and food security as well. Further, the agreement hold that there would be no limitations on subsidies granting maintained by developed and least developed countries for fishing with their एक्सक्लूसिव इकोनॉमिक जोन सो दस कंट्रीज की पेरिफेरी में जो चीज़ें हैं वहाँ पर उनकी एक्सक्लूसिव राइट हो एंड इवन नो कंट्री शुड इंटरवीन एंड इलीगल अनरिपोर्टेड एंड बेसिकली अनरेगुलेटेड फिशिंग को पूरी तरफ से बैन करने की बात की गई है 
ना इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांसमिशन की अगर बात करें तो मेम्बर कंट्रीज हैव एग्री टू एक्सटेंड सर्ट इन मोराटोरियम नॉट इम्पोजिंग कस्टम ड्यूटीज ऑन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांसमिशन जो इस बार की मीटिंग जो नेक्स्ट होनी है मिनिस्टर कॉन्फ्रेंस मीटिंग जो थर्टीन होगी दैट इज शेड्यूल टू टेक प्लेस इन डिसम्बर टू थाउजेंड थर्टी तो उस पर यह बातों पर और ज़्यादा डिस्कशन होगी वन जीरो फाइव कंट्रीज व पार्ट ऑफ दिस अमॉन्ग द इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांसमिशन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट कंट्रीज इंक्लूड यू एस यू के ऑस्ट्रेलिया चाइना जापान एंड अदर कंट्रीज दैट हैज साउट फॉर द एक्सटेंशन फॉर द मोराटोरियम विद इंडिया एंड साउथ अफ्रीका बींग द अपोजिशन टू दिस राइट ब्रॉडली अगर बात करें जो इलेक्ट्रॉनिक ट्रांसमिशन हैं दैट कंसिस्ट ऑफ ऑनलाइन डिलीवरीज सच एज म्यूजिक ई बुक्स फिल्म सॉफ्टवेयर एंड वीडियो गेम्स ना द डिफर डिड नॉट other from the other cross border e-commerce since they have ordered online but not delivered physically right to so, kuch electronic transmissions se lekar ke agar baatein aati hai to ab ye sari cheezon ko highlight kar sakte hain now discussions on the patent relaxation which india was definitely vocal from the beginning so the member countries have agreed on authorizing the use of subject matters for patent procuring uh, the covid 19 जो वैक्सीन है जो उनकी प्रोडक्शन है मेंबर कंट्रीज के द्वारा विदाउट द कंसेंट ऑफ द राइट होल्डर सो इम्पॉर्टेंट डिसीजन एंड इम्पॉर्टेंट जज बेसिकली कंसेंस दैट वॉज मेड नाउ इट हैज मेंबर कंट्रीज विच हैज द वेवर रिक्वायरमेंट इंक्लूडिंग द एक्सपोर्ट रिस्ट्रिक्शन दैट वॉज फोर्ड बाय द डब्ल्यू टी ओ रेगुलेशन जहाँ पर डोमेस्टिक मार्केट में मेंबर कंट्रीज के लिए भी काफ़ी कुछ रिस्ट्रिक्शन लगाई गई थी ना आफ्टर दिस दे वुड बी अलाउड टू मैनुफैक्चर एंड इवन सप्लाई Now, with the next six months, members are expected to decide on increasing the scope of agreement to cover the production and supply of the COVID-19 diagnostics and therapeutics as well. Now, the other news: India, Bangladesh stand on the river management, something again important for general studies paper two, India and its neighborhood relations. So, today we had we have discussed two news with related to the India and neighborhood countries. First, for there with the Nepal, and this is with regards to Bangladesh. now delivering an open remark at the 7th conference of india's bangladesh joint consultative commissions india ke jo external affairs minister hai mr s j shankar he has said that the bangladesh and india should work together for comprehensive management of the river this can be again a very important topic for your mains examination so make sure you are thorough with the points and relevant uh, data so the minister said that india's assistant in management of annual flood in the bangladesh would be something that will be helping bangladesh in general in particular and india look forward to work with bangladesh on artificial intelligence startup fintech and cyber security as well so this was the other broad area upon which the discussion held now this is a map this will help you to understand ki kon kon se rivers kahan ja rahe hain not only for bangladesh if you want to precisely look into bangladesh you can consider it to the this region बट आपके लिए ज़रूरी है कि नेपाल एंड इवन फॉर म्यानमार जितने भी इंपॉर्टेंट कंट्रीज हैं उनके साथ कौन कौन से रिवर्स निकल रही हैं यू शुड लुक इन टू दिस सो वॉट यू कैन डू यू कैन टेक द स्क्रीन शॉट ऑफ दिस एंड यू कैन रिवाइज ऑल द रिवर्स एंड ट्रिब्यूटरीज आर वेरी वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर द यू पी एस सी प्रॉब्लम्स एग्जामिनेशन ना फ्लड मैनेजमेंट की अगर बात करें इंडियाज एक्सटर्नल अफेयर मिनिस्टर हैज सेट एंड ऑल्सो एक्सटेंडेड सपोर्ट टू बांग्लादेश इन फ्लड मैनेजमेंट इन द नर्दर्न बांग्लादेश स्पेशली and india will be sharing the flood management data that would be for an extended period india and bangladesh share almost 54 river that required both countries to work together on the shared environment responsibility such as sundarban for example i have given i taken an example but aur bhi aise rivers hain jinke examples aap quote kar payenge resolutions to the border problem india and bangladesh have resolved the border problem through land boundary agreement jisko lba bhi kehte hain this was basically signed in 2015 but have been in dialogue for sharing the multiple river that define the border impact and the livelihood option on the both side now the other news india gave emergency visas for afghanistan and hindush this is important for general studies paper 2 effect and policies for the development of developing countries on india's interest and india's diaspora so recently we have seen that a terror attack took place in gurudwara in kabul in light of that the union home ministry has granted an emergency visas to 111 hindu sikh from afghanistan right 
and prime minister has strongly condemned the attack that took place in the gurudwara and for this particular attack global terror outfit that is islamic state known as islamic state of koran province that is iskp unhone iske zimmewari liye they are suspected to be and they have not actually uh, basically claimed that they have done it but the suspicion is that they have only done this now looking into this graph in map aapko ye pata chal payega ki har ek countries mein india ki kya hindus ki kya representations hai if you look into afghanistan 1970 mein 7.7 lakh log the aur ab 2017 ki jo data hai uske mutabik 7000 log hi sirf wahan pe hai pakistan mein almost 15% were almost hindu now this number was reduced to 1.6% for bangladesh it was 22% now the number is this is more below but the data i have taken is you know pretty on the 2011 so wahan pe 9.5 wo abhi ke hisab se ab 6.5 ya 7 ke aas pass anticipate kar sakte now issues of e visa the e visa will facilitate the evacuation of sikh and hindus from afghan who face grave dangers in the wake of terror threats officially uh, said that there are concern with regards to security situation emergencies visa di gayi hain taki log wahan se bahar nikal sake and the discussion was also made with the intelligence agencies hindu and sikh in afghanistan ki agar baat kare with uh, like current there are 700 hindu and sikh in afghanistan and a large number of family has left for the last year in the wake of the taliban takeover and even jab us troops wahan se wapas hui uske baad bahut sare aise hindus the jinhone afghanistan ko chhoda tha following the change in the regime in the kabul where the taliban forces has overtaken the power many indian have looked forward to come back to india or you know take place to any other countries jahan pe unhone refugees ki tarah bahar jaane ki koshish ki इंडिया ने इस टाइम पे इमरजेंसी ई इमरजेंसी एक्स वीजा जो मिसलेनियस कैटेगरीज में आती हैं वो इशू की थी ताकि जो इंडिया वापस आना चाहते हैं उनको लाया जा सके नाउ मूविंग टू द एडिटोरियल ऑफ द डे दैट इज द ई पी आई मे रैंक बट इंडिया कैन रिकास्ट द पॉलिसीज राइट इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर जनरल स्टडीज पेपर टू कंजर्वेशन इन्वायरमेंटल पोल्यूशन डिग्रेडेशन एंड ई आई ए and even it can be important for general studies paper too in the government policies and intervention is concerned right so under this editorial i'll be giving you six important subheads but before that this entire editorial focuses upon the epi and the concern for it right so what is government response we look into this paris agreement ki commitment kya kya hai claim and low pari conference bio protections and air quality green goals and the way forward right so a jo environmental performance index that is epi we look how the india was rated on this so the newly released epi or the environmental performance index that was measured or that was released by the yale and columbia universities has ranked india at the bottom of the 180s country the 180s countries mein india ki jo ranking hai wo 180 pe rakhi gayi aur government of india ne inke parameters ko deny kiya and they have said that Uh, we are not you know acknowledging this report so puri reports ki agar baat kare india ki ranking 180s hai hamare jo neighbor countries hai unki performance even better hai bangladesh 177 pakistan 176 nepal 162 china 160 sri lanka 132 and afghanistan 81 right to kuch top countries ki agar baat kare denmark uk finland malta and sweden are the countries with the best performance top 5 performance mein aur kuch indicators hai बहुत सारे 40 इंडिकेटर्स हैं ईपीआई के तो कुछ इंडिकेटर्स में इंडिया की रैंकिंग की है राइट दिस इज नॉट इंपॉर्टेंट कि आपको सारे इंडिकेटर्स के नंबर्स याद होना चाहिए बट इंडिया की जो रैंकिंग है टॉप फाइव और बॉटम फाइव आपको पता होना चाहिए ना गवर्नमेंट रिस्पॉन्स डेफिनेटली गवर्नमेंट हैज सेट दैट वी डू नॉट एक्नोलेज दिस बिकॉज द गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया हैज कैटेगोरिकली स्टेटेड इन इट्स ऑफिशियल स्टेटमेंट दैट दिस फाउंडेड अनफाउंडेड अजम्पन सरमाइज एंड अनसाइंटिफिक मेथड्स नाउ नेशनल पार्क रैंक की अगर बात करें तो इंडिया 165 पे है क्लाइमेट पॉलिसीज में 21.7 परसेंट की नंबर्स मिली है ओवरऑल वेटेज जो है 38 परसेंट है एंड कैलकुलेशन विथ 42 परसेंट ऑन इकोसिस्टम वाइबिलिटी एंड 20 परसेंट ऑन इकोनॉमिक हेल्थ केयर इन पर्टिकुलर सिग्निफिकेंस तो ये कुछ परसेंटेज वाइज कुछ अलग अलग कैटेगरीज में रैंकिंग को परसेंटेज दी गई नाउ विद इन द ओवरऑल क्लाइमेट स्कोर इंडिया डज बेटर इन द सब मेरिट्स बेसिकली कुछ सब मेट्रिक्स में इंडिया ने परफॉर्मेंस अच्छी की है दैट इंक्लूड ग्रोथ रेट फॉर द कार्बन ब्लैक कार्बन 
methane and fluoride gases greenhouse and emission based on their intensity as per the volume right now overall climate score me uh, basically these are the rating now the index rate the currently uh, currently for the country uh, the index rate for the low projected greenhouse gas emissions at mid century is target for the net zero emissions right the net zero emissions ki already government of india ne target set ki hai this is for 2070 and how we will achieve this is again something very important the epi report estimate that china india and united states and even russia are expected to account for 50% of the global residual greenhouse gases emission by 2050 this is what the epi report has also highlighted now paris agreement ke jo commitment hai yahan pe already you know that there was a target which said that ambitious 1.5 centigrade cold temperature honi chahiye and even the less rigorous target was well below 2 degree celsius and at present cop 26 india has already come up with net zero emissions by 2070 aur bahut sare targets ke liye 2030 ki bhi target rakhi gayi hai india ki taraf se right anyway for 2050 to some of the targets now claims and low paris co so the country has protested that the new india state of forest report was not factored in this biodiversity matrix which was released by the epi and given that india score abysmally low in the ecosystem variables agar baat kare marine protections mein to ye 0.3% hai protection area representative 0.5 that is pari mm. territorial biome protections that is tbm or is national mein 1.2 global mein 2.5 wetland loss prevention is among the best score at india that is at 62 now biome protection and air quality ki baat kare jo epi release ki gayi hai that rated india in terms of protecting biome that has led to the sharp differences also even the government of india has not you uh, know recognizes or take a cognizance of this the government defends that uh, national or legal jo boundaries have protected area does not match the geographical boundaries right and even the international classification may not be optimal for measure the conservation कुछ और बातें की अगर बात करें बेसिकली वी लुकिंग टू दैट सेंसिटिविटी एरिया ऑफ ईपीआई पी जहाँ पर एयर क्वालिटी की बात की गई है सो द स्कोर ऑफ 7.8 पॉइंट एट परसेंट रैंक एंड वन सेवेंटी नाइन दैट इज अर डिस्प्यूट ओवर द डेटा रिलायबिलिटी एंड इवन द पैरामीटर्स दैट वॉज दे तो गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया ने डेटा को फॉल्ट्स बताए हैं कुछ डेटा सेट्स हैं जिनको कवर नहीं की गई सो दे सेट दैट पर्टिकुलर मैटर ऑक्साइड्स ऑफ नाइट्रोजन सर्वर डाइऑक्साइड वोलाटाइल ऑर्गेनिक कंपाउंड्स दीज आर हाईली you know higher uncertainty in the region with lex extensive monitoring network and emission interventories jo interventions hai ya interventories hai uh, these are so that should the government fault on database of the polluting concentration of the data right now green goals ki baat ki gayi hai green goals like what india is looking forward with india ki road map ke bare mein as i have told you in the beginning that 2070 is a target that is set up for phasing out the coal and even to get the net zero emissions and even the emissions from building embedded in the carbon construction materials such as cement steel provide a scope for the reductions this is what government of india would be looking forward to reduce and the national case would be stronger if policies on luxury urban emissions aimed at helping the poor india strong protection for bio that is protected area represent 5% of the land and generate wide ranging benefits that is biodiversity can even recover वे फॉरवर्ड की अगर बात करें सो द इंडिया नीड्स टू अडॉप्ट रिगरस डैशबोर्ड अप्रोचिंग इंडिकेटिंग असाइन हाइट वेट इन द इन्वायरमेंट मॉडल अब जहाँ पे अमित सेन के द्वारा और इवन सम अदर प्रोफेसर लाइक जोसेफ स्टेट एंड जीन पॉल फ्रिट्सी दे हैव कम विद द एक्सप्लोरेशन दैट डेवलपमेंट बी ऑन द जी टी पी ना दिस कैन जनरेट अ गुड डेटा आइडेंटिफाई रियल बेनिफिशरीज एंड इवन अवॉइड सीरियस इन्वायरमेंटल डिफेक्ट्स दैट इंश्योर्स द Uh, equity in the using of natural resources and even it can help to curb the pollutions so kuch jo international studies hain jo global practices hain unko bhi adopt ki ja sakti hai so that we can meet the global parameters so this is how you can conclude your way forward now moving with the mcq questions of the day before i proceed just to tell you the answers of your study question for first question the correct option is c for second question the correct option is c MC question of the day that is carbon watch app has been recently launched by Karnataka Chandigarh Madhya Pradesh or Jharkhand so do check it out for the correct options second that is consider the following statement with regards to the defense acquisition council it is a constitutional body 
the prime minister of india is the chairman of this council so this is a basic question but do check it out which among the following is the correct options so this was all about for the daily news and editorial analysis followed by the mcq questions if you have any other concern you can let me know i'll be more than happy to assist you for time being i'm signing off thank you so much for watching this video